Hello and welcome to another indie horror game, and one that I've been waiting for for quite a while now. This is Choo Choo Charles. My thanks go out to Two Star Games for sending me over an early copy, but if you're watching this video, that means the game has been released. So if you do want to get it for yourselves, of course, the links and the details are going to be down below in the description for you, alright? This is going to be a first person horror experience where I'm going to be playing as a hunter. A hunter hired to take down a monstrous, bloodthirsty spider train. It sounds ridiculous, but it looks like it's going to be a great deal of fun. I really do hope you enjoy it. If you do, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, but let's begin a new game of Choo Choo Charles. I know it's been a while since we last spoke, but something has happened at the mines I've been supervising. No, trust me, you'll want to make time for this. You're looking for something big to keep your museum in business. Well, there's something big on that island. Real big. So many friends. And even my own son are still out there. If anyone can bring this thing down, it's you. It'll be the biggest attraction your city's ever seen. And you can help an old friend. Yes, meet me on the docks at sunset. I hope you're ready for a little monster hunt. <laughs> oh yes, I'm very ready. And that's what we're hunting. That is Choo Choo Charles. Yes, sir. They call him Charles. Half train, half gig of spider from hell. <laughs> We've been planning his demise for some time now and have nearly everything in order. Is that right? Just a few people to meet and places to see. Simple errands, you know. <laughs> yes, sir. Welcome to Erinirum, the island where miners dig their own graves. Wonderful. Stay close. Charles isn't the only thing to fear around here. All right. So, welcome to Arinirum, everyone. Man, I'm looking forward to this. Okay. Through here? No? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to headbutt you. Oh, I need to use you, do There's I? There's a train shed at the top of the hill. All right. One of the train operators was killed early on by the beast. So his old engine should be in there. Ah, I see. If we can get to it, it could be an indispensable tool on our journey. I have a feeling you're right. Stay close. We don't want to be exposed for too long. <laughs> All right. Well, he's the expert. I, oh, okay. Wow, look at Eugene go. Wow, okay. <laughs> so yeah, we can sprint in this game. Uh, it looks like in the bottom right, there's my health and I think the train health. Uh, I don't see a stamina meter, which is why we can do this, I suppose. Man, am I looking forward to this. And look at this. This looks good. It's running well, too. Here we are, then. Okay. In here? No? Ah. Ah, oh, shucks. It's locked. It is indeed. Not to worry. We can still find a way in. Through the window? There's a small shack up the path that might have a key inside. Oh, okay. Take this map. I just marked the location on it. A map? All right. See if the key is up there, and I'll look around some more down here. Okay. All right, so let's use the map. Oh. Oh, wow, okay. Ba <laughs> Baby's first mission, was it? Okay, uh, it looks like I need to go up the path there. Look inside the nearby shack for the key to the train station. So hang on, let's zoom out here. Wow, okay. Look at this island. So... Right, this is just like a bird's eye view of the map. It's not like a separate map screen as such. What we got here? An optional mission? These are all optional missions, are they? Required missions? Weapon missions? Okay, so we can follow the, the train line around here. Big, big place. Maybe it's going to be a big, big game. I don't know if I can do this entire thing in one video. I might turn this into a short series. We'll see how it goes. But first things first, we need to get to that nearby shack and we need to get that key, don't we? That's clever. Man, all right. So this way, I think. All right. Yeah, we, uh, we don't want to be out and about outside of the train for too long, I don't think. We don't want to be exposed, as he said. 
There you go. That's a comically large key. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so it's I for the inventory. Okay. A small gold key that can be used to open the abandoned train station, where I'm going to find the train that's going to help me win the fight against Choo Choo Charles. Right, okay. So far, so good. I don't think he's lurking around the corners waiting to ambush us. At least not yet. <laughs> good on you! Looks like you found it! Looks like I did. Open up that door and lead the way! Alright. Here we are then. And here's the train. Okay. Right. Let's see. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> She's an oldie but a goodie. I'm going to inspect the train's exterior. Okay. Why don't you take a peek inside? See what we got to work with. Will do. All right. So, let's see. Seems like the engine's running. Okay. Up we go. All right. Your epic train. Wonderful. Right. Looks like we got a blueprint down here. Oh, this is where we do any upgrading. Right, so uh, it looks like we need scraps for this, but we can upgrade the, the health, the speed, the damage, the armor of it. Right, okay. Good stuff. Okay, what else we got? Our gunning platform down here. This is how we deal with people that don't buy a ticket. <laughs> this is what we're going to be using to fight Charles off. New guns can be earned in missions. Yeah, all right. Brilliant. Wonderful. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, the exterior is a little rough, but everything looks to be intact. Good stuff. That gun you were looking at wasn't on here when I was evacuated from the island, but it sure looks fun to use. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it will be. We can light up Charles with it and take him down before he even sees us coming. Well, that's the idea. Are you ready to take this thing for a spin? Absolutely. All right, so the center lever moves the train forward, the left moves it backwards, the right stops the train, and apparently leaving the train while it's moving automatically stops it. Right, so, uh, forward? Oh, hang on, don't we? No, we don't. <laughs> All right. We're coming for you, Charles. Okay. Do you so hear that? Oh, oh shit, it's there he is. It's him. Oh, boy. Get to the gun. Him oh, bloody hell. What? Oh, yeah, you can see the barrel's getting red. Oh, he's got a lot of health. I'm trying. Believe me, I'm... Oh, whoa! Oh, Eugene! Hey! Oh, wow. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hang on, hang on. It looks like he's retreated. Hang on. Is Eugene dead? Shit. Man, okay, I guess the tutorial section's over. Now we know what we need to do. Is he still alive? Oh, he is! This isn't how things were supposed to end. No? I thought we could still fight like the old days. Yes, sir. Easy in, <coughs> easy out. You'll need to do more than I thought, but <coughs> I don't have time to explain. Find the eggs. The eggs? Find my son. Your son. Ah. Oh. And he's gone. Eugene, you were a good friend for about five minutes. Okay. Find the eggs. Find Eugene's son. Find a way to finish Charles off. Right, let's go. Man. So, this one, yeah? Oh, I'm sorry, Eugene, but I'll, I'll see if I can avenge your death. So let's see, where are we going here? Okay, uh, where do we want to go? It's the, it's the blue ones, they're the required ones. These yellow ones, they're the optional ones. Right, well, I'd like to do the optional ones if possible. Um, I'm not promising that I'm going to do absolutely everything, but yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes. Let's go around the outskirts of the island. Yeah, let's do that. I like that. I like the, uh, the map screen transition. It's a nice little bonus there. Right, so let's see. Rail switching. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. I see. So hang on, hang on. That stops it? That stops it. 
Okay. Can I get out now? Is it safe? It seems like it's safe. So, let's see. Interact with the lever on the ground to change the direction. Where is it? Here. Okay, so at the moment it's going to point us inland. We want to go around the perimeter, so... Perfect. Okay. Alright. I think I'm getting to grips with this. Up we go. And onwards. Okay, so looking at the map screen, uh, next up is going to be an unmet NPC on my left, who's going to give me an optional mission. No sign of Charles on the horizon, but Matt, he just came out of nowhere, and he disappeared just as quickly, honestly. Okay, we're probably getting quite close, it's just on this bend coming up by the looks of it. Oh yeah. I can see a, a cabin, a house. All right, hang on. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> hang on, I'll be with you in a sec. Right, off we get. So yeah, it's Q and E to lean, it seems. It's not just a headbutt NPCs, like I mistakenly did at the beginning. Hi. Eugene told us we'd have a newcomer soon. I suppose that would be you. I suppose it would. There's some scrap metal in the balcony room of my house that you could use to repair and upgrade your train. Ah, wonderful. Here's the key. And although the balcony is right behind me, I'll just mark it on your map anyway. <laughs> just in case. Thank you. As a side note, talk to anyone around here, and uh, they'll do whatever they can to help. Okay. Anyone not wearing a mask, that is. Anyone not wearing a mask? Check out the balcony mm. and take whatever you can use. All right. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you very much. Right, okay, so we need to be wary of the NPCs with masks, do we? Right, so... up there? Right, let's see. Oh, okay, I guess we don't have a key for the inside here. Um, ah, here it is. The stairs up. And the balcony. Alright. Ah, here we go. Ah, wonderful. Ah, so this is scrap. This is what I'm looking for. Looks like there's nine in total. Wonderful. Okay. We've got a map of the islands. And what's this? We've been waiting as patiently as we can, but the past few days have been chaotic, to say the least. Charles has been more aggressive lately, to the point where I'm starting to fear how many of us will be left by the time help arrives. Godspeed, Eugene. We're counting on you. Man, Eugene was a good guy. Okay, so that's it, is it? Yep, it's been taken off the map screen, so I guess that was that. Let's go back and let's see what we can do using the blueprint, shall we? So let's go around here. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this a lot so far. All right, so how does this work? Okay, so yeah, we wanna, we wanna repair the train's health, don't we? Okay, 10% at a time. Okay, uh, speed, damage, or armor? Let's see. Well, it's going to be three scraps for each of them. I say speed and damage to begin with. Okay, cool. Right, well, uh, let's move on, shall we? Up next, uh, oh, it looks like we're, we're going away from one NPC, but... Up next, it looks like there's going to be someone on the right, and then there's going to be one of these required missions. Maybe his son? Maybe something to do with an egg? Not sure. Alright. Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's see. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone with a mask on. We should be okay. Let's see. So I don't think there's any way for me to actually defend myself outside of the train, at least not yet. Oh, hello. Look, kid. I know you're supposed to be some fancy pants monster hunter, but you can't earn my respect without making yourself useful. Okay. One of Warren's goons dumped a locked chest in the yard last night. After beating on it for a few hours, I didn't break anything but a sweat. <laughs> I got some lock picks, but I don't know how to use them. All right. Here, take them. If you can get that chest open. You'll earn my respect, I might just give you some scraps to help improve your train. Alright. Okay, so, good stuff. So, whereabouts do we need to go? 
Uh, oh, it's really not that far at all. Lock pick a clock. Okay. Just on the other side of these carriages by the looks of it. Fair enough, fair enough. Alright. <laughs> I know you're going to give me some scrap, but you don't mind me stealing some? Alright. <laughs> so, let's see. So we got three carriages here. We can go inside? Wonderful. The more the merrier, right? The more I get, the more I can upgrade. The more I can heal my train. And the train is essential in this game. Really, really daft premise, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this so far. Right. Yeah, you see, if I don't find enough scrap, this is what's going to happen to that one over there. Okay. Right, so do, do I just time this? Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that seemed to work. Left, right. Yep. Ooh. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> What's this? Okay. It's a critical item. Uh, let's take a look at it, actually. There it is. An ancient tablet. A very old stone tablet that features some strange drawings. Interesting. Maybe they didn't used to be trains, but it seems like giant spiders have been a problem on this island for quite a long time. Okay. So, round here? But yeah, I'm also just checking out the area, looking for more scrap. If I could find any more, that'd be brilliant. There you go. There's some. So yeah, we've got this giant open world, this island to explore. And uh, I suppose, depending on how much you explore it and how much work you do for the NPCs, your fight against Charles is going to be easier or harder. Alright, let's see. <laughs> well, fancy fingers here got the chest unlocked. <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, that's an odd looking piece of junk you found inside there. Bit of a letdown, to be frank. Oh, yeah? You earned my respect. So here's some scraps, like I promised. Fantastic. All right, and that's another mission complete. So what have we got now? 32. Hey, thank you very much. Okay. I, I don't know if this guy is ever going to have any more missions to complete, but if he keeps giving me rewards like that, I certainly hope so. All right. So let's see. Let's, let's fully repair. Uh, and let's increase the armor. And again. Mm, yeah. There you go. I want to keep everything relatively balanced, really. How about speed? Yeah. That's going to help us getting around this giant island, isn't it? Okay, so not too far away is a required mission. Just over here on the left. <laughs> Probably would have been easier to just walk over. Right, hello. Let's see then. More scrap? Don't mind if I do. Hey there! The monster hunter has arrived, I see. He has indeed. This is no ordinary hunt, mind you. We've already tried fighting Charles, but he retreats into the wilderness if he is sufficiently harmed. I see. We believe there may be a way to get Charles to commit to a mortal battle, however. I'm listening. Dispersed around the island are three eggs. Ah. Locked in the island's three primary mines. Okay. Our theory is that putting these eggs in the temple at the center of the island will provoke Charles into a fight to the death. Sounds good. Unfortunately, the mining company owner, Warren Charles III, mm. has placed armed guards inside each mine to protect the eggs. Why? And he's also called Charles? Interesting coincidence. There's an egg in the mine just down the rail. Okay. Here's the key to the mine. I've marked the entrance on your map. Thank you very much, Helen. All right, I'm just going to go inside and steal all the scrap you've got. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have told her that. Uh, okay, so where are we going? It's... okay, it's just down the line. What was that? South Mine Spelunking? All right. Well, we're definitely going to get to that. But before that, I want to see if I can do this weapon mission. I'm curious. Right. Well, there's the train. Uh, we can't go inside, but any more scrap round here? Oh, there is. Wonderful. All right. And some more here. Lovely. Brilliant. Hey. OK. 
Okay. Right, so over the bridge, yeah? Still no sign of Charles. Let's keep it that way. Maybe he's feasting on Eugene's body. I dread to think. Okay. Right. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> What's this? This is the weapon mission, isn't it? Let's take a look. Alright. Got some more scrap. It is worth exploring in this game, it seems. It seems like people want to keep me out. Oh boy. Hey there. Are you wearing a mask? Doesn't look like it. Are you friendly then? Okay. I made a little flamethrower as an addition to my spider train home defense plan, but as you can see, it is slightly uh, backfired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could say that. I nearly cooked myself alive in that shed as I was testing it. Shoot dang. Shoot dang indeed. I would love to save the shed though. Right. If a uh, flamethrower somehow still works after the fire dies down, well, you can take it. Oh, I see. I'd assume you're the monster hunter that folks have been expecting, so uh, a weapon like this could come in handy. I imagine so. All right. So we've got to we've got to save the shed somehow, right? Uh, and how do we do that exactly? Let's see. Up here. What do we got up here? Okay, hang on. Is that a water tank? What about this valve? Right. Oh, there you go. Well, that was easy. Why didn't he do that? <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, it looks like it's as simple as that, honestly. Some more scrap up here. Okay. And yet more. Brilliance. Brilliance. Okay. Yeah. Put the fire out completely by the looks of it. So how did I do? Using the water tank to put out the fire. Pure genius. <laughs> <laughs> Pure genius that somehow escaped him. Here, take old bug spray. Cause of this chaos. Bug spray, that's the name of the flamethrower? I don't want to see it anywhere near here again. Shoot day. <laughs> All right. Uh, is it safe to go inside? This isn't going to collapse on me. Okay. What's this? Oh, orange paint can added to the train. Oh, I can customize its color as well. Wonderful. I like that. More scrap, too. Great stuff. Okay. Well, it seems like this is a safe area, so let's take a look over here as well. Can't get inside? It seems to be locked. All right. Just looking around for any hints of yellow. That seems to be the, the clearest marking to see scrap. I don't think there's anything else around here. Okay, all right. So, off we go on our adventures yet again. <laughs> yeah, I want to see if I can do as many of these optional missions as I possibly can. Here we are then, bug spray. Oh, and that's where the derailleur goes. So it's only one at a time, it seems. Seems pretty cool. It overheats very quickly. Especially considering it's a flamethrower. Okay. So you can see the stats there. It's damage and range, terrible. But it's slowing and fire rate, really, really good. Okay. And here we have the paint. Just like that? Wow, just like that. Incredible. Alright. So let's see. I've got quite a lot of scrap now, haven't I? Yeah. Let's see. Uh... I think it's going to be armor and damage this time. So everything's on four. Good stuff. I suppose it would help if I keep a few scraps just for the health. Just in case things go a little bit south, you know what I mean? So yeah, maybe I won't use all the scrap that I've got all the time. Right, okay, moving on. Next stop, it looks like it's the South Mine. The mob is hiding an important egg in the Southern Mine, and I want it. Because I... I can't believe I'm saying this. I want to get into a mortal fight with Choo Choo Charles. Okay. It's somewhere over here to the left, I think. Okay. Alright, hang on. Let's stop. Alright. Over here somewhere? Okay, let's get out. I. Oh, boy. Okay, right. Ah. Uh, 
Charles, Charles is around. Can you see him on the horizon there? Holy crap. He moves so quickly. Is that scrap? Okay. Ooh! <laughs> I think we're okay, at least for now. What have we got here then? More scrap? Am I safe in here? Can he destroy buildings? I don't know. I feel like the only safe place in this game is on that train. Speeding away from him. Right. I think we're safe enough to read this. Southern Mine Summary Document Week 1. Mining has been proceeding smoothly, and we're seeing signs of a solid vein already. The tools are still holding up well, and we've finished constructing our shelter. We haven't spent long here, but we're getting settled in, and adopting a good rhythm and schedule to our work. Right. Okay. I don't hear or see Charles. So let's see. It's going to be somewhere over here, isn't it? Uh, pretty much straight ahead of me. Okay. Past the trees. Oh yeah, there's the entrance. I just have to follow these tracks, it seems. Okay. Looks like there's something over here, though, so of course I want to take a look. Alright. A little bit of scrap. Is that it? I think that might be it. Right. Okay, so over here. Let's check the floor. There are the tracks, and that must be the entrance. More scrap? <laughs> I can't help myself. It's very useful. Okay. Right, so Helen gave me the key, yeah? So I should be able to get in? Wonderful. Right. Well, I don't think Charles can get in here, so maybe in here I'm safe. Okay. So, we're looking for an egg. Hmm, why is it being guarded? This is very strange. Oh. Maybe this is going to help illuminate me. While mining the farthest tunnel, we broke through a wall into a large cavern. There's something strange here, and we don't know what it is. We're requesting that Mr. Warren visit the southern mine site at his earliest convenience to give us further instruction. Eugene, Team Supervisor. Or at least, it used to be. Stealth. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, I've noticed there's no crouching or anything like that, but we can lean to spy on enemies and avoid being spotted. Okay. So there's enemies in the mine. Let's see. Uh, I don't want to get lost. I suppose I could just follow the tracks. Let's go this way. Alright. No one around the corner? <laughs> Looks like we've got another one of these boxes. Right, I've still got the lockpicks, so... Okay. Alright. There you go, easy as that. Oh, more paint! Green this time! Lovely, alright. Yeah, I could ride around in a green train, that sounds good. Not exactly what I'm after though, is it? Where's the egg? This way? Alright. Some more scrap down here, thankfully. The more the merrier. Honestly, so far I'm really impressed with this. Just look at this. Yeah, it's, it's a good looking game. Alright. Okay, hang on. Looks like we're going this way. I'm hearing something, or, or, or someone whistling, I think. Oh! I'm seeing them too. Okay. Right. Okay, well, let's go this way, shall we? Let's go this way. What do we got here? Scrap? Lovely. No egg, though. Be here. Oh, shit! Okay, right. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Ah, this is it. Here we go! Whoa, 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 whoa! Wow, okay, I, I thought I'd lost him. I don't know why, but right, let's go. Let's just go. Are you still- yep, you're definitely still chasing me. Okay, this way? Oh boy. Right. 
<laughs> that was a really quick heist. Okay. I only saw the one enemy, but perhaps... Perhaps this is just an easy one. Maybe the other two are going to be a little bit more difficult. Okay. Right, can we close the door? No. Okay, we're done. We're done. And it looks like... No, no, he's not done. He's not done. Okay, hang on. I can't defend myself here, but from the train, I think I can. So hang on. Here we go. Oh, oh boy, look at his mask. Wow. So, what, is he a, a Charles fanatic or something? What he is, is dead, thankfully. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't pick up the shotgun here. Man, okay. Right. Wait, does this work? Oh, this game's perfect. <laughs> okay. We... Oh. oh, boy. Right. I think I heard that from straight ahead. Do I want to go straight ahead? Let's see. Uh, there's a couple of unmet NPCs on the way if I keep following the perimeter. Maybe I should go towards Charles. Let's do it. Alright. I've upgraded myself a little bit. We're pretty fast, right? We're pretty fast. Oh. He's over there. He's over there. Has he seen me? He oh, okay, hang on. I think he's maybe seen me. Okay, hang on, hang on. Oh, he's definitely, he's definitely seen me. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Bloody hell, this is for Eugene. Oh, shit. Shit. Okay, hang on, hang on. Wait, let's try something else. Right. Oh, look at that. There you go. Oh, wow, that overheats so quickly, though. Okay, set him on fire. Set him on fire. Oh, this is just a pain. Right, we're back to this. Oh, boy. Right, hang on, hang on. Wait, is he... He's left me alone. He, he's left me alone. Right, stop, stop, stop. Where... Where are we now? Okay. All right, we've, uh, we've bypassed an optional NPC. Or a couple of them, really. But, uh... Well, let's see. There's one here. There's one... Up there, too. Have we just gone past the junction? Yes. Right. I had no idea. Okay. Man. It's a silly game, but it gets really nerve-wracking when it wants to. Okay, let's just stop. Uh, let's go to the right, shall we? I want to keep going around the perimeter of this island. I want to really explore this place. And then we'll go into the nitty-gritty inside later. I have to admit, that freaked me out. I thought that was Charles, coming back for a second round. Woo! Okay, right. So, yeah, he he really hurt. Um, because of that, actually, I think I'm going to prioritize armor over everything else. <sighs> okay, 89%. That's, that's all we can do at the moment. But this time, we're going to go right, so let's go right. Uh, we probably want to stop pretty soon and then go down that road. So let's go do that. Alright. You know what? I'll change this green. There you go. Now I can blend in with the trees in the forest. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh boy, I was hoping to find scrap, not blood. Okay. What else have we got here? Anything under these shelters? No. Oh, actually. There you go. I like the way that I'm getting the story in this game as well. The more I explore, the more pages I find, the more people I meet, the more I understand about this world and what's happened here. Speaking of which, here's another one. Unloading all the supplies has been an incredibly eye-opening experience. Here at the port, we've been working all day, every day. We're tasked with unloading the boat and running supplies up the hill to the tracks, where Theodore and Eddie deliver them to the different sites we'll be mining. The sheer cost of all this infrastructure is mind-blowing. With all the success Warren's family has had in this business, I'm surprised he's choosing to take such a risk here. 
Hmm. Maybe he knows something that you don't. Right. Okay. Let's see. Can I can I use this? I Oh. Oh, look at all this. Look at all that scrap. Wonderful. So yeah, you should really look out for the yellow items in this game, it seems. But right. We're going down here, are we? Let's see. I think this is just an optional NPC. But hopefully it's going to be an NPC with a lot of scrap to give out. I'm very grateful at this point that there is no stamina meter. I'm very grateful that I can run everywhere. This is a giant, giant area and he moves so quickly. If I'm caught short, if I'm away from anywhere I can hide, away from my train, I want to get back there as soon as possible. Right. I think I can see him standing there, actually, in the rain. First things first, let's check for scrap. There you go. Wonderful. Yeah, I think this is going to turn into a short series. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the entirety of the game the way I want to in one video. It's going to take too much time, so I think I'll be ending part one at some point soon. Can we go in? Seems like we can. Cool. Another map of the island there. And what's this? I've been praying someone from the first evacuation group would just send back another boat, but I guess they all think that George's supply boat is still evacuating people. They're all safe and cozy on the mainland, but feel no obligation to make sure everyone else escapes. I know that Charles sinking the boat isn't something anyone would expect, but still. To think, I would have left this place by now. It makes me sick. Charles sank a boat. Wow. What are we up against here? <laughs> Alright. Okay, so this is the NPC, yeah? Hey there. Looks like he's ready to go. My goodness, the others actually convinced someone to come help us. It seems so. I'm so glad you came, but I simply cannot stay any longer. This island is too much for my nerves to handle. I've brought all my belongings here so I can leave immediately when a boat arrives. You might be waiting for a long time, unfortunately. Although now that I think about it, I did forget my journal at home. Could you bring it to me? All right, okay. It's a dangerous journey for sure. Train of yours. Hmm. Well, we'll see, I suppose. I'll give you all the scrap metal I have. Just please, bring the journal next time you're here. Okay. Alright, so it looks like he's marked on the map where the journal is. It's... Ooh, that's quite a long way away, actually. Uh, <laughs> okay, alright. I, I guess we could. Right, well, it looks like I do need to go up here to the northeast for these three. Specifically these two. But yeah, I could go over there. Sure. Just maybe not straight away. Alright. Are you sure you don't want to wait inside? Out of the rain? Out of the danger of Charles? Maniac. <laughs> Alright. A little bit more scrap. One right at the end. And there's one over there. Then I think we're going back to the train. Right. Next stop, I think, is going to be up to the northeast. Hopefully, Charles isn't roaming around that area. Hopefully, he's still licking his wounds. But let's get back up this hill. There we go. Left to right. Good stuff. Let's continue our journey, shall we? We're heading for the northeast. Let's go. Yeah, so we've got one of each here. We've got a weapon mission, we've got a required mission, and there's also an optional mission over there. Right on the coast. Alright. Oh, hang on. It's a lighthouse. You know me. I've got to go check that out. Right. Hopefully we don't bump into Charles on the way. You know, that's probably not a very good idea. Oh, hang on. Let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. What we got here? More scrap. Lovely. Okay. More of these boxes, please. Alright. I have to admit, I'm quite apprehensive about going to the middle of the island. Like, somewhere around here. Somewhere where I'm so far away from my train. Mm, that's 
suppose at some point I'm going to have to, though, aren't I? There's probably some pretty good scrap resources there. Okay. Looks like we're going to be stopping soon. Right now, in fact. Okay. Let's see. What we got here? Perfect. <laughs> Straight to your door. Oh, man. Look at that. How much? Paul asked me to design a new weapon to help you hunt Charles. And using my extensive demolitions experience, I made this rocket launcher. Thank you very much. I've been wanting to see Warren's empire crumble for a long time. So building this puppy was a hell of an opportunity. Now that you're here, I need a few minutes to remove some safety features. Oh yeah? While I'm working on that, why don't you bring that box of rocket ammunition back here from inside the bunker down the rail? Okay. All right, will do. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a good one, I feel. All right, uh, so where are we going, exactly? Okay, that's gonna be there. So we need to find a way into the nearby bunker and retrieve the box of rockets inside. That's not too far away, really, but uh, yeah. Quite a distance away from the tracks, so I'm not happy with that. <laughs> Let's see. What next? Up here? You don't mind, do you? Doesn't seem like it. All right. A little bit of scrap, and maybe this guy's backstory? I'm stuck debating if Warren made us bring our families to this hellhole so that we'd never need to leave, or to keep information about his business practices away from the mainland. Either way, I want that man in a noose. Paul asked me to design a new weapon for the monster hunter that Eugene is sending, and knowing what I do about explosives, you can bet I made the most powerful rocket launcher I could. Warren, you don't stand a chance. Okay, that makes me want it even more. We're going to have to get to that bunker. Right. So, across the way, let's see. There's going to be a, a required mission. I see someone up there. Is, is that the guy? Well, let's see. Oh, more scrap. Lovely. All right. Hey, how's it going? I I'm sure Eugene told you all about me, so I need not introduce myself. If he was alive, he probably would. Uh, n n name's Greg, by the way. Right. In, in case you haven't heard already, Warren, the mine boss, is keeping three monster eggs locked away. Right. We're unsure why he wants to protect the eggs. If they hatch, they would surely turn into monstrous creatures like Charles. Well, maybe that's what he wants. To prevent this, we, we need you to steal all three and use them to bait Charles so we can destroy him. One, one of the eggs is, is in the North Mine. Uh, here's, here's the key to the entrance. Okay, the North Mine. How far north are we talking? Pretty far north. Okay, right. That's going to be uh, quite a few missions away, probably, but good stuff. Okay, yeah, before I leave this area, let's go check out that lighthouse. I feel I have to. But maybe I should have a look at this first. I need to write this theory down fast before Warren finds out that I'm onto his dirty plot. My theory is that Mr. Warren Warlord III is trying to hatch and raise more of these eight-legged critters, a whole army for who knows what purpose. They found a whole nest of those eggs while clearing out debris from the cave-in. We also know that they're as hard as diamonds, completely indestructible. The miners spent months using the temple prism to suck the energy out of all the eggs, but before they could destroy the last three, Old Man Warren stopped them. Warren must have realized how powerful these things are, and rather than protect us from them, wants to use them to take over the world! I'm on to you, Warren. And now, so am I. Thanks, mate. Right. Okay, so, somewhere over there, there's a lighthouse? I guess it's not on, because I can't see it. <laughs> right. Uh, there is a bit of a path here, so, yeah. Ah, there it is. Here we are, then. Yeah, that's not on. If there are any rescue ships on the way, they're probably going to run aground not seeing the island. Alright, we're not too far away. I'm still scouting around looking for him, but I don't see him on the horizon. I really do not like this. I'm, I'm so exposed. I'm so vulnerable here. Right, who do I need to talk to? Oh, I, I see them. I see them. Right. Okay, one moment. What's this? Okay, Ocean Watch Day 68. I went outside to do a routine check of the lighthouse. As I walked around the corner of the building, I saw that beast, Charles. 
He spotted me and charged straight up the hill in my direction. That spider train is a hideous monster. I can't understand why Warren wants us to stay on Araniram instead of trying to escape the beast. I suppose Warren has simply gone crazy, thinking he can handle this situation on his own. In any case, Charles ran right over me, trampling my leg. I won't be able to attend the upcoming meeting and have asked Greg to bring back a copy of your notes if possible. Claire writes, and I presume you're Claire. We haven't met, but I've heard lots about you coming to help us. Right. I have a favor to ask. The breakers on the side of the lighthouse need replacing. Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> a fuse puzzle, is it? I was recently attacked by Charles, so I'm unable to do it myself. Man. The breakers are in the nearby supply shed. All if right. you go get them and repair the lighthouse, I can try signaling passing ships to come help us. Good stuff. Once you finish, I have some spare scraps to give you. That's what I like to hear. Okay, all right. So let's see. We can't go there? No? Is that the way into the lighthouse? That's a shame. All right. I'm just looking around for any spare scraps I can steal before she gives them to me. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I don't think we can go up the lighthouse, unfortunately. So, where's this supply shed? Oh, I see. It's on the other side. Okay. Not too far to go, though. Looks like I need to go on the other side of the building and maybe down the hill a little bit. All right. Ah, here we are. Yes, four missing. Okay, well, let's see if we can find the four down there. Still no sign of Charles? Good. It's a big island, you know. Let's hope he's occupying himself in other ways elsewhere. Alright, there's one, two, three, and four. Good stuff. Alright. Oh... When in Rome. <laughs> While I'm down here, let's have a look. There's some scrap there. And a little bit more. Brilliant. Okay. Is that some more I can see hiding around? Okay. There's quite a lot to pick up in this game. Yeah, you're never going to be short for too long, it seems. Alright. So let's see. Nice. Okay. Oh. That's staying up. So it's going to be a combination. All right. Four, two, three, one. Okay. Perfect. Everything seems to be working, but I have a feeling that that's going to lure Charles right over here. That's a bit worrying, isn't it? Uh, okay. Right. Uh, you mentioned scraps? Fixing the lighthouse will definitely increase our chances of being spotted. Here are those scraps, I promised. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so how many scraps have we got right now? 65! Not too shabby. Alright. So, yeah. Unless I want to jump into the sea and swim around the island, I'm going to have to go this way. Back to my train. I am just scanning the horizon. I'm not seeing anything right now, but yeah, with the sort of mist and the rain, it's it's hard to see a lot. Right, something over here, a little shelter, maybe some more scrap. There you go. There you go. Right. I suppose if he does appear and I I can't quite get back to my train, I could go up there. I suppose with height comes safety. Alright. Okay. Made it back safe and sound. So, let's see. Let's upgrade this a little bit more. Let's let's heal up. Uh, armor's going up twice. Damage is going up twice. And speed's going up. I'm going to keep the remaining four for, uh, for healing the train, if needs be. Right. Next up... Uh, well, next up, I suppose, it's going to be the weapon, isn't it? This bunker break-in. Let's go. I think after this mission, I'm going to call it. I'm going to end part one. But there's definitely going to be a part two. Don't you worry about that. Okay. Let's see. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Let's stop. All right. Okay. 
And off we get. Let's see then. I think that might be the bunker entrance there. Should I be worried? I mean, <laughs> I think I should definitely be worried with this lying around. Okay. Alright, hang on. What we got here? Time dynamite. It may be useful somewhere nearby. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. I'm actually more worried that I might step into a landmine or something like that, you know? Right, let's, let's get out of this area. Alright. Okay, thankfully not a landmine, just scrap. But yeah, why would there be a landmine here? Well, unless of course they're hunting Charles in that way. Alright, let's see. In here I'm going to find some rockets, aren't I? Oh shit. <laughs> yep, first things first, I need to blow off the door. Whoa! Oh wow, actually, that hurt me. Didn't expect that. That was quite a distance away. Thankfully, it seems that you do heal yourself quite quickly. Right. Okay. Any masked people down here protecting the rockets? Oh. Okay. That guy didn't give me a key, did he? Hmm. Uh. Ah. <laughs> Here we go. Oh! Again. Wasn't really expecting that, but it makes sense. Well, hopefully that didn't blow up the rockets. There they are. Alright. Good stuff. Okay, so what's this? Okay, it looks like version 1 and 2 both failed. 3 had a 13 second flight. Version 4, success! Hopefully I've got the version 4 rockets. Hey, look at this. Why don't I just stay here? I think I'm going to be safe from Charles here, right? <laughs> okay. Right, I actually want to go back on myself now, because I want to go back to that place and get that rocket launcher. That looked really good. So right down here. Alright. Love the weather effects as well, yeah. There's a lot to like about this game. There's a great deal to do as well. It's not just simply killing this weird spider train. Alright, let's head back. Okay. I do worry if I'm going to be running into him head on. I still think he was probably lured to the lighthouse. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. Here we are. Wasn't too far away at all, was it? So let's see. Here we go. The launcher is in complete working order, so I'll let you take it from here. Thank you very much, John Smith. Oh, and take good care of it. The Boomer acquired. After you're done, I have a few people to visit with it if you catch my drift. I think I do. Should I be worried? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to turn you into the authorities, not after you just gave me that. Right! Alright, there it is. Okay, so let's see. Here it is, the Boomer. Look at that damage. Its range isn't great, slowing and fire rate terrible, but... Right, let's see. Ooh, alright. Yeah, it does take a while to reload. Very thankful that all these guns have infinite ammo. Honestly, Charles, if you're listening, bring it on. But not in this video. This is where I'm going to say thank you very much for watching part one of Choo Choo Charles. I hope you're enjoying this game. If you are, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, and I hope to see you back in part two, where we'll continue our journey around the island. See you then. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to headbutt you. Oh, hang on. Don't we... No, we don't. <laughs> I'm trying. Believe me, I'm... Oh! Eugene, you were a good friend for about five minutes. All right, I'm just going to go inside and steal all the scrap you've got. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have told her that. Oh, there you go. Well, that was easy. Why didn't he do that? <laughs> okay, let's get out. All right. Boy. No egg though. Be here. Oh shit! Okay, right. Wait, does this work? 
Oh, this game's perfect. <laughs> oh, he's definitely, he's definitely seen me. Oh man, look at that. I really do not like this. I'm, I'm so exposed, I'm so vulnerable here. Perfect, everything seems to be working, but I have a feeling that that's gonna lure Charles right over here. In here, I'm gonna find some rockets, aren't I? Oh shit. <laughs> 